Welcome to the day number three in our 30 day 10 minutes challenge. So thank you for tuning in. We are going to do a no repeat today. So we got an alternative between a pulse focused exercise and a strength exercise using no equipment besides your own wonderful working body. So we are going to go through nine different kinds of exercises and we're going to work for 45 seconds and 15 seconds for me to show you the next exercise so you're ready to hit it off along with me. So we're just going to work one after each other. And so Going from one exercise all the way down to nine, starting out with one minute of a warm up and then the workout for the nine exercises. And then you've been working out for 10 minutes and you've been doing a great job fitting your into your tight, busy uh, schedule, a good, nice workout, staying focused with the intensity now when we're only working for the 10 minutes. So let me help you, let me guide you. Let's go. We are starting out by jogging on the spot easing up, getting our focus into what's going to happen for the next 10 minutes. Getting alignment into a proper place. So chest is lifted, chin is in, and arms are moving up and down. Opening up in our ankle joints, and we are going to go for a little bit of a more with wider position here. Twisting and getting that buttocks out to the side, and inhaling and exhaling. So for the next nine exercises, which is only going to be a one round, no repeat, we are going to start up with a pulse exercise. Moving into a strength exercise and so on until we hit exercise number nine. So twisting and turning, warming up our spine. Hopefully you've been doing good with the other challenge, the first challenge of drinking water along the day. And our second challenge was to eat no sugar for a day. So we all are aiming about changing and putting our mindset into a healthy daily living both working out and just making small adjustments through your daily life to stay fit and strong all the way. So we are staying here and moving those knees up, going a little bit further down and a bit of more distance between our feet, squatting down up on our toes, moving arms forward and back. Make sure you have that Chin in, going down and up again for another four and three and two and a final repetition. Maybe you just want to grab a bit of water when I show you the first exercise, which is going to be a narrow jump. So we're going to go up here and down again. I will show you some modification along the way. So our time is going to Go on here, counting down from 10 seconds, ready for that pulse exercise. So you need to focus in, in getting short of breath. Shoulders are down, reaching up and inhale. If this is too much, you can go with a little bit less of a jump, but still alternative between your feet in that lifting up position. So inhaling and exhaling using our lower body mostly here and in just a few seconds we are going down focusing in our upper body inhale and exhaling reaching up keeping that chest up and only for another five seconds bring it up and down yep Going in here, what we are going to do a triceps plank, opening up for two, staying up here, Spider-Man, Spider-Man for two. So elbows right underneath shoulders, and we are going up for two, and up, staying up here, Spider-Man, Spider-Man, slowly down, up we go, staying up here, and of course you can do this on your knees. Moving up, down, staying up, bring that knee up. Or you can do the tricep plank on your knees and then you can go up for the Spider-Man on your toes. Whatever fits the best, connecting with your core area, looking down, bring that knee up and slowly back again. Yep, we are going up for a 
start jump. So a little bit bending on your knees and we are moving up and down. So thumbs up in front of us, protecting our shoulder area. So lifting, getting shoulder breath. If this is too much, you can go with a jumping jacks or you can go heel down. So this, if this is way enough, you just go there and keep it going. Inhale and exhale. Just a slight bend, knees when we are landing. Up we go, bring it back down again. Keep those arms in front of you. 15 seconds, you know there's a strength exercise coming up. Feet are coming out and moving upwards too. And we are lying down on our stomach. Do a swimming back. Thumbs are pointing up, feet are lifted off the ground. Looking down all the time. Yep. So squeezing your glute muscle, straightening your arms. Thumbs are pointing up. Inhale and exhale. If this is too much, you can try to keep going here. Or maybe you want to turn it into a diagonal lift opposite arm but remind yourself you're only doing run round <sighs> squeezing those glute muscle lifting up with that chest so you can feel the muscle along your spine helping you doing daily life eight more seconds keep it going four three two and let's go into a plank position here opening up so free to go in out on the side of the exercise mat for a plank split hop only one round 45 seconds squeezing and looking down so fast feet in and out if this is too much you can go tapping out to the side single leg so make sure try to imagine you're doing this with no top on so you need to go get those up and nice and tight so inhaling and exhaling opening up and back in to place for another 15 seconds pushing it and pulling it yes and we are Turning around here, and we are lifting up, getting into a little bit here, a little football, straightening out again. So let's go. Pushing up and reaching back down again, keeping that chin in, lifting with our ab muscle, reaching out with your hands. Squeezing, pushing out to the side. Inhale and exhale. Up we go. 15 seconds. Opening up. And three, two, and one. And we are going up for a surface touch down, one foot in front, the other one at the back. So down here, up, turning and a bit of a clap on top of our head. So reaching up, inhale and exhale. Let's go. Pushing it down, up to center, again, and down with that buttocks, and let's go for another 15 seconds, up we go, down, and four, three, two, yes. Let's go for a squat. 
out to the side, inhaling and exhaling. So get that buttocks wall down and we only have one exercise after this one. So the final strength and one of so squeezing back and in the center here, we're gonna squeeze our glute muscle just a little bit more, tighten our thighs and pushing it back now to that 90 degree. Down, center, down, keeping chest up and chin in. Pushing it out to the side for 20 more seconds and one pulse exercise to go. Squeezing, center squeeze. Let's go for another five seconds, even amount on each side. And we are going for a football kick here. Arms are up and we are twisting a bit in our upper body. And ready for five seconds, four, three, and bring that leg up. If this is too much, you can go with a little bounce in between your jumps or else you're just gonna hit it here apart, bringing those arms up, well knowing that this is a final exercise and you're almost there doing your 10 minutes of your exercise session for today. Keeping chin in, inhale and exhale. Bring your arms up, leaning back a bit, makes it easier to get your arms and knees up. And we only have three more seconds. That's it, beautiful. Timer stopping here. So a uh, 10 minute workout, one more day, no repeat. Moving from top to toe, using every single muscle, boosting that metabolism where we get short of breath. So well done, I bet you did your best. So I have another challenge for you today. You are gonna try to eat th at least three vegetables during a day. So if you're doing this in the morning, you can do it along the day. And if you're doing this in the evening, you do it tomorrow being a one day behind, doesn't matter. So if you used to eat a lot of uh, vegetables, you just go and put a two extra on top of what you're used to. So until I see you next time, take good care, stay strong and healthy, and I will meet you tomorrow at day four. Take good care. Bye.